We all love sweet revenge, whether it's in real life, basketball, or even chess. We love to see it, but what Vince Carter did, it doesn't really get much better than this. In the 2004 NBA season, Vince Carter really wanted Steve Nash to play for the Toronto Raptors. Vince Carter was an all-star and Steve Nash averaged 16 points and 11 assists. So it definitely made sense, because in the offseason, Vince Carter would do anything to win the Toronto Raptors a championship. But in the offseason, the Raptors didn't even try to sign Steve Nash. Vince Carter was furious at this decision. How would they win a title now? Vince Carter was a superstar. Because of this, Vince Carter had so little hope for the Toronto Raptors winning a championship that he would intentionally play flat out terrible. He purposely threw the ball out of bounds, took bad shots, made terrible passes, and was being mean to his coach, GM, and even teammates. He played intentionally terribly until the Toronto Raptors traded him. I think he saw it as a test to see if the Raptors were really loyal to him. But he got traded. He went to the Brooklyn Nets, or at the time, the New Jersey Nets. A lot of NBA fans in Toronto hated him for this. He was a multiple time all-star on the Raptors, and the Raptors never even signed Steve Nash. But Vince Carter's stats on the Nets were noticeably better than his stats just the season before on the Raptors. The season before, he averaged 22.5 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 4.8 assists. In his first season on the Nets, he averaged a monster 27.5 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 4.7 assists. He played so much better in Brooklyn than he did in Toronto. Also, his percentage from three went up so much. It went from 32% to 42%. At this point, it was clear Vince hated Toronto and Toronto hated Vince. But that's not where the story ends. Vince Carter would get his revenge soon. On January 8, 2006, the Brooklyn Nets were playing against Vince Carter's rival team, the Toronto Raptors. This game, Vince played out of his mind. Hit the three. Nuts kid trying to force the action. Can't. Straight down the middle. The flip. Oh. No. The follow goes down for Carter. Nice. Fend off. Floater no. Tip in. Yes. Well, you're right about that. Cleans the glass. Nets are down by four. Carter's three. He's got it. Nets down by one. And they were showing that play. They thought it might have been a charge. Oh. And he nails the free throw. Right. Between Bonner, Calderon, James, Bosch, and Rose. Get it into Calderon. Whoa, they tried right to foul, no call. Just anticipate anything, Ian, but in that situation, I'm just to slow somebody down. No good. The door is open for the Nets. Enough time, though. Kid, three seconds. Carter looking for the win. He buries it. Vince Carter. In Toronto with a bang. He scored 12 points. In the last 75 seconds, Vince Carter was so clutch in this game. How do you even make this? This revenge was super good and sweet. But Vince Carter isn't done. He really wanted to show the Raptors what they have done. The next season in the 2007 playoffs, it was once again the Nets versus the Toronto Raptors. This game was the third game of that playoff series. The series was tied one to one. This is Vince's time to shine. Vince had an insane game. He put up 37 points. The New Jersey Nets also won this series, so the Raptors clearly got destroyed by Vince. But wait. That's not it. To top it all off, on November 21st, 2008, Vince Carter and the Brooklyn Nets were facing no other than the Toronto Raptors. And he did this. But wait, he had a pretty good game. But that's not where the revenge part ends. With about 45 seconds, the Brooklyn Nets were down by seven. This is Vince Carter's moment. Carter drills it. Watch out, four point game. You gotta be better than that at that stage. And now all of a sudden, the one Curry. 
Here's Carter. Carter trying to get by. Does to the hole. Good. Carter up top. Carter! Carter. Oh, my. Carter. How sweet it is. One point game. Here. Is this Vince Carter or Michael Jordan? Oh wait, you can't tell a difference. And by the way, if you were wondering, that's Vince Carter. He put up a performance that no other player has ever done before. But later in his career, the Toronto Raptors eventually forgive Vince. But this story is still just insane. We are at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Ron, and that's my take. Peace!